One of the things I get asked about from time to time is how to create a profile tool in the Enroute tool library. And actually this is a fairly simple process. Uh, we're not actually going to take into account when we're doing this the, the profile involved, but just some of the distances we need to determine the offset from the edge of the material. So here we have a few different types of, of tools that might be represented. Uh, here we have a half inch round over tool a quarter inch round over, and uh, an OG tool. But uh, we're not really going to try and define the profile here. What we're going to do is we're going to define the, uh, the amount of offset that we need for this tool to cut the way we want it to. So let's start off with just this little quarter inch round over here. So if I want this tool to cut just a little bit of the corner off up here, I'm going to uh, position this, and let's do it in the lower right-hand corner so that it is going to go down to a depth of 0 0.5, uh, 0.25 inches into the material if this is my three-quarter inch material and we're going to go over in the X of a quarter inch. Alright, and so this would be probably the kind of uh, cut we might want to do if we just want to put a little bit of a round over here and so we define our tool so that half of this value which is a quarter inch right here is how much we want to offset. Uh, we want to offset half of a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. So when we define this tool, we're actually going to define it as an end mill. I'll come to the tool library, go to new, and choose end mill. And I'll say quarter inch round over. And then I'll define my D1 as 0.25. And my H1, I'll just give it some value that I, I might be able to go to one depth and one pass. I actually probably wouldn't want to go much more than that quarter inch, or maybe even a half inch here with that particular tool. So I'll shorten that just a little bit. But there would be my quarter inch roundover. Now uh, taking into account this little bit different roundover tool, a half inch roundover. In this case... I would need to go down a little deeper, so I'm going to say 0.25, which means I'd be going down a half inch in depth, the same amount as my radius here, and 0.5 for the X, which will put this again right at the corner, and if I want to uh, move down, uh, let's say 0.1 inches or move over, by doing this I can I can create a little bit of, a, of an effect of a, of a different type of a profile here and if I just come and go to my jigsaw tool here I can even get an idea of the type of, of profile that's going to give me. So uh, so for this tool I'm going to define this again with a quarter inch but with a uh, with in mind a little different depth so uh, I might come to the tool library here and define a new tool again this will be an end mill because I'm concerned with the offsets and I'll say half inch round over. And as I said, I might do 0.25 for my, my inner diameter, but maybe a little bit deeper here, uh, as much as I might want to do in one pass here to give myself that little edge profile. So we'll save this. And uh, finally here, let's get rid of some of these dimensions. We have our, our OG tool. And the OG tool is interesting. It has kind of a flat bottom here, but, but then it's going to turn into a, a little arc. And so, I, again, I want to use this diameter if I, if I want to offset something. Let's get rid of these. If I want to take this tool, and most of the time with an OG tool, you would probably want to be creating a little bit of, a, uh, a little bit of an inner type of a part. So I'll move this down to... 0.375 and that would give me just that little radius part there if I wanted to move this down a little bit I can do that and create a little different effect here as well so uh, depth is mostly what we'll, we'll be concerned with from the OG but if I did want to come here and move this to 0 0.5 0 0.375 and create a little profile here I can do that and I, again, I want to offset half of this lower diameter of a half inch. So this kind of a tool I would set as a, again, an end mill because I'm just concerned about my offsets. Let's 
all right and I would name this one with an inner diameter of 0.5 and you know I might want to go up to uh, some particular depth here for my h1 and I'll hit save I do generally give all my tools a different h1 value if they're gonna have the same diameter or something else uh, to keep there from being any kind of a tool substitution so uh, again I'm saving this uh, one last time just to make sure I got all my my parts saved and in this way I can now begin to use these tools and keeping into mind how both the depth and the offset are going to play a role in how the the input or the the output comes out you're able to easily define these tools and use them